Lately, the pricing for just about everything has been going up, and paid software is no exception with their monthly and annual fees that can add up. So if you're looking to cut costs, I'll show you the free alternatives to those paid programs for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. As requested by a subscriber to our channel, this video will be more of a quick roundup in various categories, and to save time, we'll be skipping the mini tutorials like we do in our other videos. Let's get started. First up, Microsoft 365 is a popular office suite, which includes the programs Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, along with many others that are quite useful and others that you'll likely never use. Earlier this year, they had huge price increases. For example, with Microsoft 365 Personal, it jumped from $69.99 to around $100, and family rose from $99.99 per year to around $130. In this category, we have two alternatives for you that are free. First of which is LibreOffice with alternatives for Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Its compatibility with Microsoft's Office file types has improved quite a bit over the years. It even lets you open Microsoft Office documents, edit them, and you can save them in a format that can be read by people who use Office. Another free alternative people like that's been gaining in popularity is only Office. Just like LibreOffice, it has compatibility with the popular Microsoft Office formats. In addition, OnlyOffice allows for real-time collaboration. Other than its Microsoft Office alternatives included in their suite is a PDF editor. Maya from the folks at Autodesk is a popular 3D modeling program that has long been the industry standard for 3D computer graphics. It's been used in animated films, video games, movies, and TV shows. Maya is not cheap. To use it, it's $2,010 per year or $255 per month. The absolute best free alternative to Maya for creating 3D computer graphics is Blender. This one's been around since 1994 and has been free and open source the entire time. The great thing about Blender is it feels like a premium program. In fact, many people prefer using it when compared with paid programs like Maya. It has just about every feature and tool a creator would ever need, and even includes a video editor. When getting started, the support page is a great resource for user manuals, tutorials, and has links to the various communities that use Blender. Also from the folks at Autodesk, AutoCAD is a computer-aided design software for engineers, architects, surveyors, and interior designers to help create detailed and precise 2D and 3D models and designs. This one's not cheap either. It'll set you back $2,095 per year or $260 per month. The absolute best free alternative to AutoCAD is FreeCAD. This free and open source alternative available on all of the major platforms has similar features to AutoCAD. It allows you to create 2D drawings and 3D models of real life objects and supports many file types for easy importing and exporting. For most people, using a paid antivirus program like Norton is completely unnecessary when there are free antivirus software packages that can keep your computer safe from threats. Plans with Norton start at around $30 per year. If you're using Windows, the built-in Windows Security, which used to be called Windows Defender, does a good job of protecting against most attacks. If you want to step things up from Windows Security, Bitdefender Antivirus Free does a better job at real-time protection from the latest threats. And as a backup, the free version of Malwarebytes does not offer real-time protection, so it won't interfere with your primary antivirus software. I use it as a secondary scan to possibly catch what the others might have missed, and it does a great job of cleaning up the malware once it's on your system. For recording what is on your screen, there are a ton of paid programs, including Snagit from TechSmith. In addition to screen recording, it can capture screenshots as well. Snagit's cost is $39 per year. For recording your screen, that's $39 too much, when there's OBS Studio that can do that function better and for free. In fact, I'm using OBS Studio right now to record segments for this video. Once you get it set up, it's really easy to use and includes a good number of useful features to record and stream to such places as YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, and X. If you ever run into issues with OBS Studio, their community forum is a fantastic place to get help. 
For those times you need to compress or convert a video into a supported file format, there are a ton of paid programs that will do that for you, including Unit Converter from Wondershare. On their lowest plan, its pricing will set you back around $50 per year, which is way too much for what it does. For free, there's the open source multi-platform Handbrake. I've been using it for many years and it fits my needs. The built-in presets make it really easy to convert any file type and export up to 4K. You can customize the output by altering the bitrate, maximize file size or bitrate, and sample rate via constant quality. And it supports the most popular codecs such as H.264, H.265, AVC, and many others. The remainder of these will be alternatives for Adobe's most popular programs beginning with Premiere Pro. This high quality video editor lets you work with any file format, add transitions, special effects, and edit on unlimited tracks. Pricing for Premiere Pro, which also includes Adobe Express and their new AI tool, Adobe Firefly, starts at around $23 per month when billed annually. A comparable free alternative to Premiere Pro with premium features is the free version of DaVinci Resolve. It also offers transitions, multicam support, audio correction, and everything else you would ever need to edit your videos. Also included in DaVinci Resolve is Fusion, which is a great free alternative to Adobe After Effects, which lets you create high quality motion graphics and visual effects. They have two versions available, DaVinci Resolve and DaVinci Resolve Studio. The free one here is DaVinci Resolve. Included is just about every feature most people would ever need. For those people focused on photography, there's Adobe Lightroom. Its feature set helps to edit, organize, and store your photos. While the price is just $11.99 per month for Lightroom, it is overpriced for what it does. The best free alternative to Lightroom is the open source Darktable. Included are a ton of features to help photographers with their workflow. Unlike Photoshop or GIMP, which are raster graphics editors, Darktable allows for non-destructive editing, keeping the original image data until finalized. It also includes tools to keep your images organized and lets you easily search by parameters. Adobe Photoshop is the most well-known image editing software and the most feature-packed. The lowest price for Photoshop is their Photography Bundle, with Lightroom included, for $19.99 per month. The first of two free Photoshop alternatives is GIMP. It includes an expansive toolset to do just about everything Photoshop can do. It allows for working with layers, manipulating colors, adding gradients, and a whole lot more. And the other free Photoshop alternative geared more towards people into digital painting is Krita. It's packed full of features with more than 100 brushes, stabilizers, and also allows you to work with layers. Adobe Illustrator is the standard for people working with scalable vector graphics that never lose their quality when scaled up or down to create logos, icons, and any other professional quality vector image. Adobe Illustrator, which also includes Adobe Express and Adobe Firefly, is available for as low as $22.99 per month. For creating scalable vector graphics, the best free alternative to Illustrator is Inkscape. It includes a ton of features for object creation and manipulation, these can be filled with solid colors, radial or linear color gradients, and patterns, all of which are compliant with the SVG file format. Inkscape is not the easiest of programs to learn how to use. Thankfully, they do have tutorials on their site that will teach you how to use it. Thanks for watching. Links to the free programs mentioned are in the description. If you'd be so kind, give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. In the comments, let us know the free alternatives to expensive software that you're using. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and click the bell to not miss out on our latest free software videos and other tech-related stuff.